Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw. No, Ida. There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here. Not like this. I should have known. Hello. Welcome in. Uh, this is Burr from the future. I just wanted to apologize in advance. There's a lot of dog and cat noises in this video, and I tried to edit them out as best as I could, but then I decided we'll just keep the puppies and the kitties in there because they are a part of my life and they are a part of my channel. Or at least the dogs. The cats are, they're a part of my life at the moment. They're my brothers. Thanks for that. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, if you don't mind giving a like to this video, that really helps out with the algorithm. It seems we ought to have an escort to the Lotus Stand. A pleasant place to discuss unpleasant matters, is it not? Yes, of course. Tis like that we are the last to arrive. Let us announce ourselves, shall we? <laughs> Hello, Silent Conjurer. The envoy from Ishgard has arrived. Very good. This way, if you please. Ah, and the Lobinson party as well. Oh, hey, friends. How do you do, fellow kids? I had hoped to slip in unnoticed, but I see I was not the only one delayed in my arrival. Greetings, Sir Emmerich. Admiral. <laughs> I was just going to say Admiral Mo. <gasps> Admiral. Always a pleasure. And Burr, I trust you are well. Tis a day for reunions, it seems. I believe you are well acquainted with my escort. Lady Burr, I was glad to hear from Riol that the missing scions have now been found. Smile, Dad. There is much more I would discuss with you, but let us first attend to the issue at hand, shall we? Shall we? I bid you welcome, my friends. As you will by now be aware, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have come into possession of certain intelligence concerning recent developments in the region of Gear Abania. It springs, I am assured, from an unimpeachable source. Is that not so, Master Alfino? Indeed, Elder Seedseer. Our information comes directly from a member of the Resistance's inner circle, and we have no cause to doubt its veracity. This griffin of theirs is a fool if he thinks he can hold Belsar's wall against the Empire. When the Imperials move to take it back, they will come in force. And the resulting fighting is all but certain to spill over into the Black Shroud. At the Battle of Cartano, the combined might of three grand companies labored to contend with the remnants of but a single Imperial Legion. Alone, Gridania would be hard-pressed indeed to hold back the tide, should the Garleans turn their minds from reclamation to invasion. May I once more convey my nation's deepest regrets for our inaction in the days prior to the Calamity. Tis a stain upon our ledger that I would fain remove. Awkward! Elder Seedseer, I do hereby request leave to deploy a defensive force within the borders of Gridania. Ishgard's return to the Alliance shall be honored by more than mere ink upon parchment. The Doman people, too, would join any effort that weakens our common foe. We are few, but our most seasoned shinobi are at your disposal. On behalf of my people, I offer you my humble thanks. Gridania welcomes your assistance. It is time we set our contingency plans in motion. Is the Alliance agreed? Then let us make ready for war. Victory favors the swift. And there is much to be done. The 
Council knows that Alamigo will not soon be wrested from the Empire, and its decision to bolster the border's defenses seems eminently practical. Why then, brother, do you scowl so? I agree that they have chosen the wisest course available. Indeed, the only reasonable one. Yet something feels awry. In making ready for war, is the Alliance not granting the Griffin the very thing he desired? Any attempt to hold the wall is doomed to failure, aye. But I wonder if we have misjudged the prize for which he plays. What does he really want? That the council was able to reach an accord so swiftly is a heartening development in itself. I only hope my misgivings prove unfounded. How oh good, you have yet to depart. I feared I had missed you. Sir Eric! Master Alfredo, a pleasure as always. And Mr. Salazé, how wonderful to see you thus recovered. Pardon the interruption. I had hoped to thank Burr for serving as our escort before other duties called her away. I also wish to thank our Dobin ally. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord. I was but awaiting an opportune moment to join the conversation. A force of habit made me keep to the shadows. No apologies are necessary, Mr. Sigini. I was most grateful for your interjection when I offered Ishgard support. My nation's historic failure to heed the Alliance's pleas for aid is a matter of record. Even so, the Alliance leaders were plainly unprepared for my impromptu apology. The resulting air of awkwardness might have lingered longer were it not for your timely offer of cooperation, which allowed the Elder Cincia to accept us both. I very much appreciated the gesture. <laughs> I only did my duty, Sir Emmerich. The Empire is an enemy to us all, and we are grateful for the opportunity to fight at your side. And full glad are we to have you. Pray convey my regards to the Scions, my friends. We must return to Ishgard. He's so dumb! <laughs> Whatever is wrong with a simple sorry or thank you? Must these politicians always make a speech out of everything? <laughs> that is how we adults speak, dear sister. <laughs> Hoof, may have the ones who like the sound of their own voice. In any case, our business here is concluded. We should be on our way as well. Will you accompany us to Revenant's Tall, Yukiri? Actually, I think I shall first pay a brief visit to the East Shroud. I am curious to know how Papalimo and Ida fared in their talks with the Sylphs, not to mention what has been going on at Belsar Belsar's Wall. I will join you at the Rising Stones anon. I will join you anon. The brother-sister dynamic is amazing. Welcome back, Burr. I don't know about you, but I am heartily glad that all of the talking is over. <laughs> I understand that these council meetings are important, but do you not find it tiresome to have to weigh every word before you speak it? I doubt I will ever feel at home in the realm of politics. Blah, 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 blah. That said, people have been known to change. That if my brother is willing to run his own errands, anything is possible. <laughs> Go for that egg dog. <sighs> well, as much as I enjoy the bustle of the toll, I think it's time we headed inside. My brother and the others will not be long. Ah, you have returned from the council. But what of Alphino? Did some other matter require his attention? There he is. My apologies, friends. I trust we have not kept you waiting over long. Greetings, everyone. Oh, Cryle. How's Nago doing? She will be alright, won't she? I don't see why not. She's sleeping at the moment. Tataru is keeping an eye on her, so we'll, soon know, we'll know soon enough if there's any change in her condition. Her wounds are healing well. With sufficient rest, I am certain she will make a full recovery. Thank goodness for that. Now, mayhap you should share us with the council's decision. 
<laughs> Each of the nations, Ishkot included, has committed to providing military support to Gredania. The Eorzean Alliance will soon have a significant force in the Black Shroud, ready to respond to any imperial act of aggression. You know, I almost wish the Council would stop messing around and give the Griffin what he wants. I wouldn't like to be the Imperial caught between the Resistance and the Alliance. Ida, you cannot seriously. One does not lightly go to war with the Garlean Empire. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Quite. To open hostilities without due consideration would be to invite disaster. <sighs> if only there were some way to reach the Griffin, some means to convince him to abandon this reckless course. It may not be entirely unfeasible. There is a network of tunnels beneath Balsar's wall. Secret passages dug by the Resistance to provide a way out of Alamigo. Which may equally serve as a way in. Precisely. If all are in agreement, I would be the one to undertake the necessary negotiations. I am familiar with the route, and the Resistance is familiar with me. About as familiar as they are with me, you mean? Say what you want. I'm coming too. I have some pr experience in the practice of infil blah, 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 blah. I have some experience in the practice of infiltration. If you would have me, my services are at your disposal. As are mine. It has been far too long since I shared a shadow with a shinobi, and I do not intend to waste the opportunity. Four is quite sufficient for an infiltration mission. Greater numbers will only serve to increase the risk of detection. Kryle and I will direct our energies elsewhere. What of you, Levelors? I will return to the East Shroud and stand watch over the border. Should matters take a turn for the worse, it would seem wise to be on hand. Might I prevail upon you to accompany me, Burr? Gridania will be safer for your presence, and... Well, it may not seem the most thrilling duty, dear sister, but to ask that you remain at the Rising Stones to pass out messages and so on. To hold the fort, you mean. Very well. I suppose the task must fall to someone. Safe travels, all of you. If you have any unfinished business in the toll, pray to attend to it now. I would depart for the Hawthorne Hut without delay. The nearby watchtower offers an unobstructed view of Valsar's wall, and I should be interested to speak to the Alliance commanders who have installed themselves at its top. <laughs> ah, Burr, there you are. Come, Emerise Size Spire Wait. The Alliance office, officers on the platform should be able to appraise us of any developments at the wall. Yeah. Fancy meeting the two of you here. We were about to set forth. Indeed. I was about to say 12 watch over you, but I doubt you have need of divine protection even if you are venturing into enemy territory. Don't worry, Alphino. We'll have the griffin by the scruff of the neck before you know it. Do make up your mind, Ida. There be a moment to go. You seem ready to shake the griffin by the hand rather than the neck. So which is it to be? It would be best to decide before we enter into negotiations. Trust me, Papalimo. I'll shake whatever needs shaking. The talking part I leave to you. <sighs> I think I feel a headache coming on. Let's be on our way, shall we? <laughs> he loves her. Ah, some things ever change. Well then, shall we make for the Spire? Our Alliance friends will doubtless have news for us. Spire, Spire, Spire. Welcome, Warrior of Light. I assume you are here to speak with your co our commanding officers. You will find them on the observation platform. Pray proceed. Greetings, my friends. Tis good to see you both well. I was hoping you might turn up. I've dragged half the watch here, see? And the sight of you might help remind them why we bothered. If memory serves, I've not seen many of you since the day of the Grand Belay. Having borne the brunt of your blows, may I say what an honor it is to stand at your side. 
Tis heartening indeed to see the realm's most stalwart defenders thus gathered in common cause. Speaking of which, what news from the wall? All has been quiet. <laughs> oh. That's quiet. Report! What? Seven hells! Fighting has broken out on the top of the wall! A full-scale assault! So the griffin has made his move. Someone has. And what's that supposed to mean? The attackers say they're wearing great company colors. Impossible! We gave no such order. Of course, the wall was never the griffin's target. It was bait. We have been goaded into deploying our armies nearby, thus lending weight to this deception. If those uniforms were convincing enough to deceive my scouts, the Empire will surely think we've launched an offensive. This could mean war. Even so, this may yet be more, no more than a, a diversion. With the armies of the Alliance occupying the Empire's attention, it would be comparatively easy for the Griffin supporters to slip into Alamigo. He could then incite a rebellion amongst the populace, which the Imperial Reserves would be hard-pressed to contain. Eorzea, meanwhile, would be plunged into chaos. So, we must make for the wall at once. What? Just the two of you? Our companions embarked on a mission to sway the griffin from his course and are likely halfway to his command post by now. They will emerge in the midst of a raging battle and I do not mean to abandon them to their fate. It will be dangerous, aye, but the confusion may work to our advantage. If we are careful to avoid the skirmishing, it may yet be possible to reach the griffin. And if we can do that... Lady Hilda, wait I ask that you have an airship ready to bear the Scions to safety. Ha! I don't know who this Lady Hilda is, Marshal, but you can count on me. We must prepare for Imperial reprisals. May the Navigator guide us through the storm. This is not good at all. My goodness. Forward, comrades! The time has come to drive the Empire from El Amigo and force action upon those who have turned their backs to our suffering for so long. Let this victory be the first to the liberation of our homeland. El Amigo will be free, no matter the cost. Wowee! From what Papalimo told me, the trail ahead should lead us into the shadow of the wall. As we have two objectives, I suggest we divide our forces. I shall make straightaways for the tunnels and attempt to intercept our comrades ere they stumble into a bloodbath. While I do so, I must ask that you scale the wall. Know that I would not propose such a course if there was, were any other way, but the time for subtlety is past. Take a band of your most trusted companions and cut a path through to the griffin. Make him see reason, by any means necessary. My most trusted, you say? Once we are free of the tunnels, we will make for your position with all due haste. And if everything proceeds according to plan, Hilda will then swoop in and spirit us away all to safety. I only pray that we have enough time. What kind of a pig monster thing is that? Oh, what's this? <gasps> oh. 
Hello. Say what? <laughs> Yeah, like I never want to see you ever again. You've beaten me, I. But you cannot stop what I've begun. Behold, a glimpse of things to come. Aye! Victory is ours! And who knows, lads? Mayhap the Eorzeans will finally see sense when the enemy turns up on their bloody doorstep. This is for Alamigo, for Eorzea. They die that others may live. Vanguards, attack! Oh, Laurentius. Poor misguided soul. You big dummy! <laughs> Seven hells. Do you hear that? War machines. How did they get here so quickly? Stand your ground for the resistance. to run. We're cut off! Empire's too big, too powerful. Oh no, God, mighty Rogue, Grandus, 
strength to crush our Well, that's sad. Ugh. There you are! As you can see, our infiltrators did not elude me for long. Lady Ugiri is sending for an airship even as we speak. What do we do? This is a massacre! <laughs> How wonderful to see you, Commander. Ill bird. I should have known. This has to end. It has to end now. Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat, and we will help your soldiers to safety. Retreat? With the moment of my triumph so close at hand, you truly are a sheltered child, Leverier. Nidhogg's eyes! No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen, so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness, shouting my throat raw with rallying cries, only to be greeted with dull eyes and blank faces. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. Take back our homeland! Free Alamigo! Ha! They'll happily mouth the words, but they won't spill the blood. You say no mortal should wield these eyes? Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. Please don't ever use the word suckle ever again. This is frustrating. So frustrating. What exactly do you mean to do? Gotta eat them. Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw, so true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? Huh? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. You know full well the danger, the... Futility of relying on such power. Oh, yes, I know their limitations, which is why I will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the calamity itself. What? Here? Now? Like hell's you will! That was fancy. Oh my gosh. An ending! To mark a new beginning! My pain! My longing! You shall have it all! <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm 
why would he do that? I don't think so. What the heck? This light, is it? His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking shape. Well, can't we stop it? There must be something we can do! There is one thing. What? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. Oh. I will now attempt to do the same. Oh no. B but that's impossible! We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days! Ah, uh, Alphino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. Timtimati, of course! The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Papalimo! I know how that spell works. It is time to leave! <laughs> Quite right! Quickly now, off you go! The further away, the better! Oh, no! Evil. If you're staying, then so am I! No, Ida! There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here, not like this! Take her! Please, you have to take her! <sighs> This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you! Go! <laughs> I figured he'd do something. Hilda! I think he means now! <laughs> Oh, this is so sad. No, I bid thee farewell again, my dear Ida. Now, let us see how good a student I truly was. Potato <laughs> power. <laughs> right, Arabel. I get that for sure. Oh, sir. Oh, Eva. Why? Why didn't they let me stay? Pablo 
was my friend. I should have been there with him. You could see it in his eyes, Ida. He knew what he was doing, what had to be done. Master Lewis Swall wore that same look right before the end. Do you think I don't know that? I know, all right. I know. There's nothing more you could have done. Ilbert caught us all off guard. Even Burr was powerless to stop him. So I know, right? Even I could stop him, so... <laughs> If you must blame someone, then blame me. I just promise that you will never forget what Papalima strove to protect. Just promise me that you will never forget. Or the lessons he tried to teach you. Don't. Don't speak to me. Leave Ida with me. Go on. Go back to the Rising Stones. The others need to know what happened here. No. Yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video and the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.